second of our retreat, <clears throat> the second day of the retreat. 29 December 1991. Our Dhamma will be <clears throat> about the continuation of our the exercise, practical exercise on Vipassana meditation. <clears throat> Yesterday I explained you how to practice mindfulness, mindfulness meditation or vipassana meditation very briefly. <clears throat> mindfulness meditation <clears throat> expounded by the Lord Buddha is, as you know, of three types or three kinds. The first one is mindfulness of a body, of physical process. <clears throat> Kaya Nupasana Siddhipatthana, call it. In Pali. The second one is um, mindfulness of feeling or sensation within a Nupasana Stipatthana in Pali. <clears throat> The third is a mindfulness of uh, consciousness. Jitta Nupasana Stipatana in Pali. <clears throat> the fourth is mindfulness of uh, Dhamma. Dhamma Nupasana Stipatana in Pali. This Dhamma is mostly translated into mental objects or mind objects. <clears throat> Actually, this is the four group of uh, mindfulness and meditation. <clears throat> Includes the other three mindfulness of meditation too. That is uh, the previous ones. Mindfulness of body, mindfulness of feeling or sensation, mindfulness of consciousness are also included in the fourth group. That's the mindfulness of a Dhamma. So, the mindfulness of a Dhamma, Dhamma is. <clears throat> somewhat difficult to translate into any English word equivalent to it. <clears throat> Kaya Nupasana Sripatana, mindfulness of body, or bodily process. When you are mindful of uh, the rising movement and falling movement of the abdomen. <clears throat> it's uh, called Kaya Nupasana Stipatana, mindfulness of body.
when you are mindful of lifting, pushing, dropping, touching, pressing of the foot. It's also mindfulness of the body or bodily process, physical phenomena, kaya nipasna stipadhana. When you stand, you have to be aware of the standing posture. <coughs> Making mental no standing. This is also mindfulness of a physical process or physical phenomena, kaya nupasana stipatana. When we, when you bend your arms, then you have to be mindful of uh, the movement of the bending arms. Make him mental know as bending, 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 bending. Be aware of uh, the bending movement of the arms. It's also <coughs> mindfulness of a body or mindfulness of a physical process, a physical phenomena. <coughs> when you stretch it out, you have to observe the stretching movement of the arm as it really occurs. It's also, it's also kaya nupasana stipatana, mindfulness of a body of physical phenomena. <clears throat> when you sit on the chair at the table, When you sit down on the seat or on the cushion, then you have to be aware of a sitting movement, sitting down movement. Make him mental now as a sitting, sitting, sitting. The whole movement of a sitting down must be aware of uh, as it occurs. <clears throat> it's also Kayanubhasana Stipatana, mindfulness of the body. When you rise from your seat, the rising movement of uh, the body must be observed uh, as it occurs. <clears throat> Make him mental now, rising, 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 slowly. When you sit down, you should do it too slowly. When you rise from the seat, <clears throat> do it very slowly and be aware of the whole, the, from the very beginning of a rising and sitting down movement to until the end of it. <clears throat> this is also Kayanubhasana Stipatthana, mindfulness of body or bodily phenomena. <clears throat> when you take When you reach to hold your spoon at the table, then you should be aware of uh, <clears throat> the stretching movement of the, your arms, making mental no stretching, stretching, or reaching, reaching. When the hand touches the spoon or the fork, observe it touching, touching. 
when you hold the fog observe the the holding movement of the the fog the holding holding <clears throat> when you pick it up no picking picking and so on. all these are kaya nupasna stipatana mindfulness of a body a mindfulness of a physical process <clears throat> when you take the food note taking taking when you bring it to the mouth then the bringing movement must be observed make a mental note as a bringing bringing when the food <clears throat> reach the mouth before the food <clears throat> reach the mouth you have to you intend to open the mouth then that intention is very distinct so, so it must be noted whatever intention <clears throat> maybe when it's a distinct must be noted <clears throat> as a intending intention intention or intending intending it means that you have an intention to open the mouth so intending intending then opening the mouth observe it make a mental note as a opening 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 when you put the food into the mouth note putting putting when you put the hand down note put in down put in down when you chew the the food no to chewing chewing when you intend to swallow it no to intending intending when you swallow the food to swallow in swallow when the food touches along the road down <clears throat> then you should note touching touching and so on all this uh, mindfulness of a physical process are called kaya nupasna stipatana except for intention when you observe intention it's a citta nupasna stipatana mindfulness of a <clears throat> mental states consciousness citta nupasna stipatana whenever we say consciousness it includes uh, some of a mental states or mental factors which is that arises arises together with the consciousness in accordance with the buddhist philosophy from buddhist psychology consciousness in never arises <clears throat> alone it arises together with its mental concomitants we call it jeda sikas <clears throat> it is a mental concomitants such as attention one pointedness contact 
feeling and memorizing or perception. <clears throat> so we never, we are not able to separate the consciousness from its mental concomitants or mental factors which arises which arise together with it. So when the consciousness <clears throat> when the say we say intention the intention is a chitana and pali. Chitana is a volition. Motive. So, when we say intention, intention doesn't arise low. It follows the consciousness that <clears throat> arises at that moment. So, when we observe the intention, it means we are observing the consciousness that arises together with the intention. Because the consciousness is the leader, the other mental factors or mental concomitants are the followers. When the consciousness cognizes the object, then the other mental factors of <clears throat> concomitants arise together with the consciousness. Without consciousness, no mental factors or mental concomitants arise. It's only when the consciousness cognizes any object, visual objects or audible, uh, uh, the objects of a hearing or object of a smelling. It's only when the consciousness cognizes any object that the mental factors or mental concomitant arise together with it. <clears throat> so when we say intention, there arises the consciousness as the leader of a mental mentality. So the, con the intention arises together with it. So when we say intention, when we observe intention, it means we are mindful of a <coughs> the consciousness <clears throat> together with the intention that is citta uh, nupasana stipatana mindfulness of a consciousness. <clears throat> Then, except for the intention, the other mindfulness of a physical movement while we are taking the food to the mouth and swallowing it, <clears throat> kaya nupasana stipatana, mindfulness of a <clears throat> physical body, uh, physical phenomenon, a physical process. This is a kaya nupasana stipatana. Then, when we say blinks our eyes, the blinking movement must be observed. It's a 
somewhat difficult to know the moment of the blinking of the eye. But later on, when your meditative practice becomes mature, you become aware of uh, this uh, blinking movement of the eye. <clears throat> then that movement also must be observed as it occurs. It's also kaya nupasana stipatana, mindfulness of a physical phenomenon, a physical process. <clears throat> While you are engaged and rise and fall off of the abdomen, abdomen movement, then your mind may go out and wonder, think about something else, or imagine. Then you must not cling to the movement of the abdomen. You leave it at low and follow the mind which is wandering or thinking or imagining. Observe it as it really occurs. Make a mental note, wandering, wandering, thinking, thinking, imagining, imagining. If you see any mental image, you should observe the consciousness of a seeing or the thought of a seeing the mental image as making mental note seeing, seeing, seeing until that mental image has disappeared. To observe these mental states such as thoughts, ideas, opinions, imaginations is to realize them in their true nature. So and vipassana meditation you must not bring the mind, the wandering mind or thinking mind to the primary object. Because <clears throat> all mental process, physical process, are the truth of a suffering which must be thoroughly realized as it really occurs. There is no mental process or physical process which should not be thoroughly realized by a meditator. So every mental state, emotional state, physical process must be attentively, energetically observed as it really occurs. <clears throat> Only these mental states such as thoughts, ideas, opinions, mental image has disappeared. Only when these mental states has disappear, have disappeared then you should return to the primary object to rise and fall off the abdomen and note as usual. <clears throat> Sometimes you may analyze the technique or the experience you are having or the dharma this analytical knowledge also must be noted. 
analyzing, 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 making mental note as analyzing, analyzing, until it has disappeared. Only when it has, after it has disappeared, you return to the primary object and notes as usual. Mindfulness and meditation is as the venerable Jnana Ponika Thira, the author of uh, the Heart of Buddhist Meditation, mentions in his book to pay, pay attention to what is happening at the moment. To pay bear attention bear attention to what is happening to your body and mind as it really occurs. That's the mindfulness meditation. So and mindfulness meditation or vipassana meditation, there's no room for thinking about analyzing or criticizing logical reasoning or philosophical <clears throat> thinking and also preconceptions are, should not be preconceptions also should not be Uh, the, there's a no room for preconceptions also because when you have the preconceived ideas about the technique or the dharma or the experience you are having you can't realize it and it's a true nature You are knowing or realization, perception may be sided to with your preconception. So so that you can realize any mental or physical process and its true nature or as it really occurs. You should pay, just pay attention to what is happening as it really is. <clears throat> That's all. You should not reflect upon the technique experience. If you reflect upon it, then the reflecting must be noted. As a reflecting, reflecting, reflecting. Until that reflection has uh, disappeared. Only after it has disappeared, you return to the primary object, not as usual. This is also, these are also Consciousness, uh, mindfulness about consciousness or mental states. <clears throat> when you meditation, uh, you are meditation experience becomes uh, an advanced stage, improving and you feel happy. Sometimes you feel pretty, pretty, the brapcha. This happiness also must be observed. This pity also must be observed as it 
really occurs. My game mental know as happy, happy, rapture, rapture, and so. This is a mindfulness of a feeling or sensation. Vidanandu Pasana Stipatana. Sometimes, sometimes you may feel sad about your poor experience. <clears throat> when you are not able to make progress in meditation or practice, that sadness must be observed. It's also one of our emotional states which must be thoroughly realized by a meditator and it's the true nature. That's why you have to observe it as it is. Make him mental note, sad, 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 sad. When that that feeling or sensation of sadness has it disappeared, return to the primary object, rise and fall of the abdomen and note as usual. <clears throat> this is also mindfulness of a feeling or sensation. When you have sat for, say, about 20 or 30 minutes. You have to observe it attentively and energetically. But <clears throat> when you have observed the painful sensation, say for about uh, 30 seconds or one minute, you may feel it severe, stronger and more intense. But actually, the sensation of the pain doesn't become severe, doesn't become more tense. But you think it be it becomes more tense and a severe as trauma because your mind gradually becomes a concentrated on the painful sensation more and more deeply. So the insight that realize uh, that arises together with the note in mind and concentration becomes a penetrating. So that insight knowledge realizes that the severity of the painful sensation more and more distinctly, more and more clearly, then you think the painful sensation becomes severe. But whatever it may be, you must be patient with it by observing it attentively, energetically. Then the painful sensation may have disappeared or may subside. Then you come to <clears throat> the primary object rise and fall of the deep domain, note, note as usual. But you, though you have a tendency to change the position, 
due to this painful sensation, you must not change position. If you are able to sit an hour, one hour without changing position, if you are not able to sit an hour without changing position, you may change your position once when you feel painful sensation becomes unbearable. <clears throat> change your position once, but before you change the position, you have to observe the intention to change the position. As you know, every action or movement is preceded by intention. <clears throat> preceded by intention. So, when you are able to note intention before the action or the movement, your concentration will be better and better in a short time. So when you have intention to change the position, note the intention as intention, intention, intention about four or five times. After that, you change the position very, very slowly, very, very slowly, so that you are able to be aware of all the movements involved in the act of a changing position. There is no action or movement which must not be <coughs> observed because every action, every movement must be thoroughly realized in their true nature and it's the true nature by a meditator. So, <clears throat> Every action and movement involved in the act of a changing position must be <clears throat> observed. To do it, you have to slow down all actions and movements. <clears throat> After you have changed your position, you continue to note rising, falling, or if the painful sensation still becomes predominant, then you should note the pain sensation, the painful sensation. Here, <clears throat> to notice very carefully Sometimes you find two or more objects arising. Then you try to choose which object should be noted. Sometimes you get puzzled. <clears throat> not knowing what to do or what to note. It's not very difficult to note. One of uh, two or more objects which is arising at the moment. The most predominant object must be mindful of uh, as it uh, really is. Because it's a nature for the mind to note 
the most distinct object, the most pronounced object <clears throat> of all, all different, many different objects. So, when you observe the most predominant object, then the other the other object will be fade away, or will subside, or will disappear. <clears throat> so, if you find two or more objects rising at the moment, the most predominant object must be noted. Suppose when you are <clears throat> observing the rise and fall of the abdomen, then the abdominal movement also distinct. But you feel an itchy sensation on the back. And also you have uh, the pain on the leg. And also you hear a distinct sound. Then what object you should note? You sh choose or you get puzzled. Suppose itching sensation on the back is more predominant than the other three objects. That itching sensation must be noted. Itching, 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 make a mental note until the itching has disappeared. If the itching sensation <clears throat> keeps going on, it becomes uh, gradually stronger and stronger. <clears throat> Though you note itching, 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 it doesn't disappear, it keeps on then you have a tendency to scratch it, to make it disappear. Then you can do it, but mindfully. When you want to scratch, wanting, wanting, wishing, wishing, or ending, ending. When you Lift your arm, your hands, lifting, lifting. When the hand stretching to the point of itching sensation, stretching, stretching. When your hand touches the point of a touching area, then touching, touching. When you scratch it, scratching, scratching. After unpleasant sensation of a scratching has disappeared, you put down your hands and then intending, intending, then putting down, putting down, and so on. All actions and movements must be observed as to really occurs. This, to deal with this, these actions and movements of the body, though the omniscient Buddha 
teaches us a, a separate chapter in the Ma discourse of Mahasiddhi Patana Sutra. The name of the chapter is a Sambhajanya Baba. It's a translated to, to the clear comprehension of uh, body my process. It means uh, that we <coughs> use uh, the word daily activities or general activities for this is Samajanya. Clear comprehension of uh, movements and action. So, whatever actions or movement may be, must be observed as it really occurs. In accordance with that chapter of a clear comprehension. <clears throat> When should we observe each and every actions and movements of the body? Because we want to realize them and their true nature. Then what are the true nature, intrinsic nature of these physical processes? and mental process. They are <clears throat> the commentary to the text is said when a meditator with a deep concentration realizes the, near the true nature of the body mind process. He knows either of uh, the two characteristics of a mental and physical phenomena. One is Sabhava, Lakna, and Pali. It means a specific or individual characteristic of a mental or physical process. The other is general or common characteristics of a mental or physical process. Meditator with a deep concentration begins to realize specific uh, individual characteristics of a mental and physical phenomenon. First of all, After that, when he proceeds with his practice and with deeper concentration, he comes to realize the general characteristics of a mental and physical process. These two types of characteristics are the true nature of a mental and physical phenomena. To realize them, or either of them. We have to be mindful of any actions or movements of the body as it is. In other words, we have to be mindful of all daily activities such as Bending of the arms, stretching of the arms, lifting of the arms, supporting down of the arms. <clears throat> and then while we are washing, while we are taking birth, while we are uh, taking food and so on. Whatever we are doing must be observed as it really occurs. 
to be able to realize the specific and generic characteristics of uh, this uh, mental and physical process. We have to slow down all actions and movements uh, as much as uh, possible. The slower is the better. As you know, there are <clears throat> five, uh, four primary material elements in Buddhist philosophy. Those are Patavi, Tatu, Abo, Tatu, Tejo, Tatu, Vaya, Tatu. These primary material element, four primary material elements uh, constitute uh, so-called uh, a body. So our physical body comprises and these are four primary material objects. Out of these four, most of the time, we have to be mindful of wire dhatu, wind element or <clears throat> air element. Wire dhatu, one of the physical process has the characteristics of uh, movement, motion, vibration, and supporting. So, whenever we move, observe it. That's why you are to. <coughs> Whenever we feel the vibration or vibrating, we observe, we should observe it. That's a wire that do. Say, when we lift our foot while we are walking, the lifting is a, a series of uh, lifting movement arising and passing away. But we are not aware, we are not able to realize it <clears throat> as it is because our concentration is not good enough. That lifting movement must be observed. Lifting of the food is not a single <coughs> unit of a materiality, but many, a series of a many movement, lifting movements of a one element, wire to are arising and passing away. To realize these many broken movements, of a lifting very clearly and very distinctly, we have to slow down our lift movement, pushing movement, putting movement, dropping movement, and so on. If we do not do this, slow down these movements, the action, actions and movements. We are not able to catch them, to be aware of them, to observe them. Then we are unable to realize them and their specific nature or general nature. 
<coughs> That's why we have to slow down whatever we are doing. Our daily activities, when we walk, we should slow down our step. Left, right, left, right, slowly. Lifting, dropping, lifting, dropping. When we observe two parts of a step, we note lifting, dropping, lifting, dropping. When we observe three parts of a step, lifting, pushing, dropping, lifting, dropping, pushing, dropping. The more the many more parts of a step noted, the slower our step should be. So when we observe three parts of a step, lifting, pushing, dropping, lifting, pushing, dropping, the stepping should be lower than noting in two parts. Unless we <clears throat> do not make the store step, we are not able to fetch it. We are not able to concentrate on it. We are not able to realize it. That's why we have to slow down. The Vipassana meditation, as you know, is to realize any mental or physical process as it really occurs or in its original nature. <clears throat> when you have, a, say, a painful sensation. You have to realize it as the process of uh, the painful sensation, not a person, not a being. You must not identify find pain with yourself or your person and being, because a pain the sensation of a pain is not a person, neither a person nor being, neither you nor I. What's that? This is just a natural process of a feeling or sensation. But when we are not able to realize it, and it's a true nature, we identify the painful sensation with us. You ideally find painful sensation with you. Then I am painful. I feel pain. Actually, those, there's no I or no person, no being who feels pain. Then what's that? The pain is the unpleasant physical sensation of a natural process. If we realize it's just a natural process of a painful sensation, we do not identify it with ourselves. <clears throat> so, when we lift our foot and walking, lifting, push it forward, pushing, when we drop it down, dropping, Then here lifting means a very tiny lifting movement arises. 
then it passes away. Then another movement arises, and then it passes away. Then another movement arises, and then it passes away. In this way, in a stretch of a lifting movement of the foot, <clears throat> a series of many broken tiny movements of lifting is included. <clears throat> But our, we do not realize it, we do not rightly understand it because our concentration is not deep enough, not good enough. So, a series of many broken movements of lifting can be realized that with a deep concentration, when your concentration is deep enough, to realize these movements one after another, we have to slow down the lifting movement of the foot. This, in the same way, pushing movement of the foot, putting down movement of the foot, and so on. So, you know the fan. When the fan is uh, turned round very fast, you see the circle. The circle is not the original nature of the fan. When you see the fan as a circle, you, it means you do not see it as it is. Then when the fan is slowed down, when the fan is a turn run very, very slowly, then you see one blade after another moving slowly. Then you do not see the circle. What you see is the blades, the three blades, which moves one after another round and on. Then you come to realize it as it really is. You come to see the fin and its original nature, or you come to see it as it really is. So, anything which is moves <coughs> should be realize at its true nature, that to realize it, you have to slow down that, that movement so that you can catch and observe each movement and realize